All right, today uh, I just wanted to make a video on how to DJ Scratch on Logic Pro X. Uh, it's pretty simple. Took me a few hours to figure out. Bear with me, I'm tired, but I'm going to make it as fast as possible. So open up Safari. Go to Mac Loops. You can create a free account and get 10 loops. Uh, I guess I should have already had this up. All right, GarageBand DJ Scrap Loops, Scratch Loops sample. Download a few of those. And uh, they're all right here. Create a free to free account. You get 10 free downloads, I think, a day or something like that. I just downloaded three just to be on the safe side, whatever. Um, and then what you do is uh, obviously I created mine. You go to software instrument, create a new software instrument right here. And... Uh, my Logic Pro X is kind of messing up. Um, and you'll go over here. You'll go to the ESX24 Sampler Stereo. You'll go to Edit. And if you don't have an Edit button, you have to go to Logic, Preferences, General, Advance. You have to have Show Advanced Tools selected and Advanced Editing. If you don't have those two selected, you won't be able to see the edit button right here. So we're going to go to edit. You're going to drag this up right here in order to uh, create a new uh, instrument. You're going to go to uh, zone, new zone, and you're going to go to load, selection, uh, minor right here on the uh, desktop. Logic Pro X, uh, you see I have these. Then I created another folder called Reverse, uh, and I'll show you why in a second. So I'll say, for example, I'm going to upload this noise scratch right here. All right, so as you can see right here, my high and low, C2 to G8. If you're not familiar with piano keys, C2 is all the way over here, G8's all the way over here. So anyone I select, I don't know if you can hear that. You're gonna you're gonna hear it. But if I want to key in on a certain key, you'll do like C1. Okay, I don't know why that's okay. Hang on. Okay, there we go. It's because I had pitch selected. Okay. Anyways, I would unselect pitch just depending on what it sounds like on your computer. Uh, so say I want it on uh, just one key because it can get a little confusing if you just put try to put ten sounds on on you know uh, on the zone and and uh, you know every key you hit you're playing all three and it took me a little bit to figure that out but okay so say I want this noise right here on my C two key right here. I'm going to go to low, C2, high, C2. And you'll notice whenever I click over here, no sound. Click C2, there we go. Going to load another one. Okay, so I loaded that. I'm going to go to, uh, okay, so it's C, D, E, F, G, a, B, C. So that's going to be uh, D, 2, to D, 2. So it's going to be one sound. That's going to be another sound, but I've got pitch on, so it's going to mess up. Okay, now I'll show you why I loaded the other ones. Load, file, reverse. Okay, so we're going to have an R1 in there, and I'm going to make that 
E2. E2. Okay. And I'm going to go over here and hit reverse. So even though it's the same noise as that, it's going to sound different because it's reversed. It's reversed. And that's basically how you make a, a DJ mix right there. But uh, you can play around and, and, and create, you know, even more and have a whole keyboard full of uh, DJ scratches, which was probably what I'm going to do tomorrow. But uh, anyways, uh, another one, another thing to watch out for is a uh, one shot. If you hit that, uh, hang on, I did one shot for key E2. So if I hit it, it's going to keep playing. Until it's over. Also, you can double click and edit the the sound clip. Uh, so, in short, that's how you create DJ scratches in Logic Pro X, and I hope you have fun, because I definitely did. And uh, you can save the instrument, too. I'm not going to save this one, because it's for tutorial purposes, but uh, I already have one right here called DJ Scratch, and I'll preview it for you. It's got a little flute that I exported from uh, Apple Loops, too. It's pretty neat. It's got that, and I've got it reversed too. It sounds pretty neat. But anyways, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, and thanks for watching.